Welcome to the Estuary Works Monitoring Survey Application Video Tutorial Series. This is a six tutorial series and it explains how to use the Estuary Works Monitoring web and field apps. This tutorial is number two in the series and it's to help you download offline maps uh, to the field apps application. This is useful when the mobile reception is poor and in the offline mode, field data is stored on device and can be later synced. Uh, they need to be prepared before commencing the field monitoring if reception is likely to be an issue in the area that you're going to be monitoring in. So for this one again you open field maps and sign in using your Esri and online account details and once you're in there you're looking for not the standard Esri monitoring field apps app but the offline one. You can see offline in capitals there. So we're going to click the three little blue dots and we're going to add an offline area. So we get a choice as to how much data we can collect in these areas. The level of detail I suggest is buildings, a building, sorry. Um, and then you really want to zoom in as far as you can to the area you want to monitor. So the closer you get to that area, the smaller the download will be and the quicker it will download and the quicker it will load. Okay, so you can do these specifically for sites you know you're going to. So you then click the download area and you'll see that that's going to start downloading now through the magic of making videos, uh, we can see that that's already uploaded. It actually can take, you know, 15 minutes or so. We can rename that and give it a specific name so we know where that offline area is for. So for this one, we're gonna call it Tari and the uh, Manning River, which means we can select that one when we're near that site very easily. So let's select that offline area now. It'll bring up the map we've just saved and we can easily add a a site there by clicking the blue plus sign and then you can see we can fill out all the fields as normal. Okay so you've completed tutorial 2 downloading offline maps. The next tutorial is recording a baseline survey and I recommend going to check that out now.